Hello my fellow Archons and welcome to another video. Um, in my last video I opened up my entire uh, Key Forge Winds of Exchange GameFound shipment and today um, I wanted to open up one of these Winds of Exchange Savior of Key Forge Archon decks. Um, they have this special golden border um, on each of the cards and obviously these, these came in very limited quantity uh, for those people who back the GameFound shipment but uh, I wanted to crack one of these open with you guys today and see what it's like. All right, so we got this thing cut open here, and it looks like we have the Grumpus token with houses Equidon, Brobnar, and Unfathomable. That's a really good trio of houses in this set. And then the Grumpus token, two power Brobnar, I think has splash attack one. Hrothgar, the Cardinal of Sky. That's a pretty cool name. Then a sort of like crab-like Archon there. Kind of interesting with some crab legs. But this is a really solid combination of houses. Brobnar is absolutely cracked in this set. Unfathomable is really strong as well. Then Equidon, the new kids on the block, they're amazing also. So let's get this open and see what's in store. All right, so I'll put the Archon card over to the side here. And then we do indeed have the Grumpus token creature. Two power, splash attack one. Um, the fact that it's two power and not one uh, makes it, it's, it's decent for just fighting into things, um, getting some splash attack and some damage on the board. Um, and it doesn't die to things like auto cannon or whatever when it comes into play. So I do, I do appreciate the Grumpus token. So here we go. Starting it off with Kamalani, destroyed, make two token creatures. Initiation, make a token creature. If you have fewer than four cards in your hand, archive initiation. Two copies of that. Covetous Hema. While Covetous Hema is not on a flank, it gains elusive. Play capture three. Befuddle. Choose a house on your opponent's identity card. During their next turn, they cannot play cards of other houses. Very strong card. And essentially, you're choosing you're choosing the house for your opponent that they can play cards of. So you're like, I'm going to choose House Brobnar, so they can only play Brobnar cards and not other cards from other houses. So very, very strong card there. Adult Swim. Put each creature with power 3 or lower on top of its owner's deck in a random order. Really good anti-token creature tech right there. You love to see Abyssal Sight. Such a powerful card. Destroy a friendly creature. If you do, look at your opponent's hand and choose a card from it. That player discards that card. Super, super, super strong. Tomodi the Damned. While you control a token creature, your opponent cannot forge keys. Play and make a token creature. It literally builds in a token creature for you to get this effect with. Um, it's just absolute disruption at its finest right there. Stir Crazy with a draw. Each ready creature captures one from its opponent. Fuguru, Dark Tidings Classic, 1 power poison, your opponent refills their hand to 1 less card during their draw card step. Azure Basin Outpost with an extra Ember Enhancement. Action, put a friendly creature on the bottom of its owner's deck if you do exhaust 3 enemy creatures. Some classic unfathomable exhaustion right there, I really like this outpost. Oh, the really? I did not even know that Lat Gaboon was reprinted in this set. Gets plus one power for each other exhausted creature. If there are three or more other exhausted creatures, Lat Gaboon gains Skirmish and Hazard is five. Super odd creature. It's like the designers of this card just kind of threw a bunch of effects onto it and called it a day. It's just like, oh, Skirmish and Hazard is five and plus one power for exhausted creatures and this and that and this and that. Very strange, although the artwork is very unique. Very strange looking, the black trees and everything. All right, moving on to the, un uh, the Equidon here. The Old Tinker with an Ember. Elusive, after reap, discard a card from your hand, draw a card. Steward Su Uzain, where some of those Ember pips are coming from. General Za Orha, skirmish for each forged key your opponent has, make a token creature when you play it. Gemcoat Vendor, one of my favorite creatures. There's just something about Gemcoat Vendor that I love. Action, steal one Ember, deal one damage to Gemcoat Vendor. Belligerent Guard, eight power, enters play ready. Play, your opponent draws a card. Auction off with an extra ember pip. Purge an artifact, its controller gains one. Another auction off, this one with a damage pip. Um, same, same effect and everything. Oh nice, uncommon currency. I was actually talking about this combo in one of my videos. Where you can, so action swap control of uncommon currency and the enemy artifact. So you can swap uncommon currency with an enemy artifact so it's under your control. And then auction off it so that you purge their artifact but you get the ember for doing so instead of just straight up playing auction off while the artifact is on their side of the board and they get the ember. So it's kind of cool. That's one way to use it, at least. Oh nice, two copies of Uncommon Currency. 
Trade Secrets. Discard any number of Equidon cards from your hand. Steal one for each card discarded this way. Very strong card. Ah, Sandhopper. I love Sandhopper. Action. Return a friendly creature to its owner's hand. If you do, you may play a non-Equidon creature from your hand. Great for putting token creatures back into your hand so you can get the effect of the actual card they're made from. And then playing down a non-Equidon creature. Um, and that's just one use. There are so many uses for this card. Exoshell System. Each friendly token creature gains Elusive. Play, make a token creature. And then moving into the Brobnar, Stratosmack, deal 3 damage to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, make a token creature. Shock Herder, deploy, ready and fight with a neighboring creature. Rowdy Scald, enhances an ember and 2 damage. Rant and Rive, some Brobnar, like semi scaling ember control. This one has a damage. If your opponent has 8 ember or more, they lose half of it, rounding down the loss. Ragnarok Prep, great card. Make a token creature, then if you control more creatures than your opponent, your opponent loses 2 ember. Pound, deal 2 damage to a creature with 1 splash. Pelf, skirmish, after fight your opponent loses 1. Berserker Slam, deal 4 damage, uh, classic Worlds Collide action card right here. One of the very few decent Worlds Collide Brobnar cards. Unguarded Camp, for each creature you control in excess of your opponent, a friendly creature captures 1. Each creature cannot capture more than 1 ember this way. Broken Axe Outpost, action, put a friendly creature on the bottom of its owner's deck. If you do, deal 6 damage to an enemy creature. Signal Fire, another reprint I did not know about. Omni Destroy Signal Fire, for the remainder of the turn, friendly Brobnar creatures may fight as though they belong to the active house. That's pretty neat. And lastly, an Iron Obelisk, your opponent's keys cost plus 1 for each friendly damaged Brobnar creature. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, things like Signal Fire going with the Grumpus, so you have a whole bunch of, potentially, a whole bunch of other extra Brobnar creatures to fight with, and then if somehow the Grumpuses aren't dying, um, Iron Obelisk to bump up your opponent's keys co key cost, that might be an option. Rant and Arrive, I do like Rant and Arrive, can go good with Ragnarok Prep, or actually the threat of these two cards, so that if your opponent goes up to 8, then they get hit with Rant and Arrive, but if they go up to 7, then Ragnarok Prep, if you have more creatures than them, uh, brings them back down to 5 from 7, so... I do like having those two cards together for sure. Giving each Grumpus elusive might make them a little bit harder to remove from the board. Um, trade Secrets, I love this card so much. Just getting some of those uh, useless Ekodon cards out of your hand, like if you don't have any use for them and you can steal off of that instead. Good artifact control with the two auction offs, you gotta love to see that. Belligerent Guard, I've found that almost always the price of having your opponent draw a card, it's almost always worth having this 8 power uh, creature enter play ready. So then you can just instantly fight with it if you need to. Maybe there's an Ember Pinata on the other side of the board um, with lots of captured or exalted Ember. Belligerent Guard can take care of that. Um, sometimes you do got to be careful. I mean, because obviously putting an extra card in your opponent's hand can be kind of dangerous. But so you just got to read the situation a little bit. Um, Azure Basin Outpost is cool. What did we have that comboed with Azure Basin Outpost? Um, that with Stir Crazy. So if your opponent has a bunch of creatures out there, hopefully you can nullify or at least negate some of the effect um, of them capturing from you as well, because it's each ready creature captures one from its opponent. Um, and that includes enemy creatures capturing for, from you. But as you're based in Outpost, you can exhaust a few of theirs, so then they capture less from you, and potentially none, none at all. So that's cool too. And then of course, Abyssal Sight, just a classic uh, disruptive card. Same with Tomodi, to stop a key. Um, if your opponent is about to forge, maybe in like a third key scenario, that's always really neat. Um, Adult Swim is a great card as well. Befuddle, man, Abyssal Sight with Befuddle. So not only do you get to look at your opponent's hand, discard a card from their hand, and now with that information in mind, you can Befuddle them and tell them which house they're allowed to play cards from, essentially. So Abyssal Sight and Befuddle, that is a dangerous, dangerous combo right there. Honestly, I'm really pleased with the look of this Unfathomable Pot. I think there's some really strong stuff in there. Um, same with the Equidon. I mean, there's no like generous offer or anything in this Equidon pod, which is usually what you like to see. Um, and even th <coughs> and even things like uh, Shrewd Investor, there's nothing like that. So the biggest Ember Control cards for Equidon, I think, are Trade Secrets. Um, and then the Gem Coat Vendor, obviously. But there's not quite as much Ember Control in this Equidon pod as you'd usually see, I feel like. But I mean, overall, I think this is a pretty solid deck. I'm excited to experiment with it, play with it a few times, give it a shot. Um, Lat Gaboon is kind of just an unfortunate reprint. I don't know why they brought him back. Um, he's just kind of weird. But there's some really good disruption and Unfathomable. Um, same with um, powerful stuff in Brobnar and Equidon. 
But yeah, I, I like this deck quite a bit, I think. Uh, let me know what combos you guys see in it, um, if you guys have any thoughts on this deck. And of course, the golden borders for the uh, savior, that sort of savior flare, is just so beautiful. I love it so much. I've seen it on some Sanctum cards that other people have opened, and the golden savior borders with Sanctum are just absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I'm excited for this deck. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you all so much for watching. And then, of course, we have more openings and things of that sort coming um, very shortly in the future. Can't wait to see you all again in the next one. See you later.